Ebuja mama akwa ban from Lucky Black Media. Ebuja breaking news be atuja. Ah, uh, it's just a doctor Matthew Puku Prempe Nepu. Ah, uh, enche kura ya pa ina huntuma se ono ena aye rani meet edima doctor Mahmud Baumiano. Ebuja putu pulunga ibone se aye doctor Matthew Puku Prempe Nepu aba abonting ed resignation letter. Akwa kuma president na nadu dan kwe kufu adu. Se unti mi enye rani meti bi mfama e. MPP ya manyu kuno ene Dr. Mahmoud Bahumia. Na ewezi ya. Enu ena nkufu bi kase. Eni yebe ye ye nsema. Aye Dr. Matthew Puku Prempe Nepu. Emela umu yinu. Achara wa santimantem. Na wujine simpi so. Se ye nijie mulu su. Se ye die yu. Nkufu bi kase. Humaswani ya hantan ewe ni mu. Na aye Nepu. Eko kan simbi mane buro so. Me biti ya. Aye wasaji for Dr. Kwame Nkuruma. Se woshe Nkuruma. Nye mo beye ya and for so be answered in so and more my canano and could fool me some more because I was watching on no sign now fee or resign say obey a running mate edama and pp a manu kuno and doctor mamud baumiano and one someone any bina at all a year doctor matu puku prempe napo asum na and i'm so many day resolution letter a kwa kwa ma a year na nadu dan kwe kufu adu any mp pimpen for no a movie now we see a kwami si fa kanyi any a year this book person for a year Dr. Matthew Puku Prempe Nepu Atu chunko mo ano paya manaji atu mzampa Aya resolution le tibi Akwa kupie na nadu dan kwa Ekufu adu enim Ama na nadu dan kwa ekufu adu So aji atu mzampa aso eye resolution le tim na ebu siyan pe nifose ka akum ya jini kwa kwa num se resolution le tano eye wanyi se eye wanyi yonko ni yonko kwa jini chiri muno emna sisi ye na maadi ya na asono maadi ya no mubibi mubibi no asono ya se let me be clear and say Napo has resigned as running mate. I have been in Dubai. He has a date to him. Because then, ah, July fifteen. I need to be sick in January. Fifty one. Sorry. Imagine. Make a statement. Now, when you resignation, no. Ah, any resignation? No fake news. No speculation. I'm not your man. You're so crazy. Ah, one who fake is one who resignation. That's why. We come in some category resignation as running mate. I you say, Dr. Matthew Poko Prempena Atrose, where die? Any look? But from now on, you know, you know, you know, on social media, no. เอ่อเราสู้เรื่องที่ตัวเราสู้เรื่องที่เราเอ่อเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเรา
social media, no, the man will not be able to see the truth in the world. But a man who created the other, and you are so busy, and you are paying us for all, to pay for every other value you see. That is not the best that ever on the basis. Okay. Who is that, Sarah Payne? Now, who is Irene here? Ah, spokesperson for Dr. Matthew Poco Prempe, 24 minutes at the top of the hour. Uh, Peace 104.3. Uh, I think now I can be about policy. Me, you know, if you may come back to Miss Irene. So, yes, let me say, look, policy be our objective. We share free SHS policy as brought by uh, Nanadi. The idea is to increase accessibility to secondary education. Mama, policy so the objective was to increase accessibility to secondary education okay what varies any the degree and the intensity of your kind of saying uh what you do you no know, to cover and have to ensure accessibility you know? if you want to say nkrumah cry nkrumah did his bit but it was not entirely free secondary education in the north mm. it was subvention Secondary education was heavily subvented. In fact, when he was presenting the seven year development plan, what he said in that speech, he said, by the time you can say, uh, SAR policy, you know, would have been fully, I mean, the plan would have been fully implemented. You know. By 1972, and this were his words, Ghana would have, you know, begun enjoying free secondary education. And as far back as uh, the 60s, Nkrumah envisioned, said, Ghana, Colombia, a secondary education, but or shall see it from a point. I can say, look, not nice because of the educational gap. One hundred and one years uh, between the south and the north. No. At least, it, at least it's been breached. We are getting there. Yeah. You know? And you know, some of these policies are actually very instrumental in that process. And see, now yeah, you were doing it piecemeal. Engine uh, two access to secondary education. No, now you are piecemeal. Muhammad Bayer, no, or no, see, and Afi Mudia, even Kufo did his bit. Oh, even Metro Mars and Kola, Fruticos, Kunin, they are all part of enhancing access to secondary education. But about free SHS, sir. But a free SHS, a universal free secondary education, whereby we are my own, we free you, you don't pay for cost of secondary education. End of story, let me move on. Let me move on. And, uh, let me move on. and, uh, I'm about to say something. And then, uh, I, uh, Unipa Osei Kofia, a former National Youth Organizer, CPP, says, Chairman Jonah, are you talking earlier about the sirens? We also want unlimited speed, irrespective of where or when. <laughs> Greetings to your panel, especially Atik, my comrade, in whom I am delighted. Now, let's move on to to the issue, particularly this one, uh, Metese Ref and Andy Apia Kubi, Edibet to justify Nincho Muhia. Now, Many opinion by Kwayan and Akumia down for Pai friend Atu Williams. Atu says the day after we wake up to various discussions on our radios and televisions and social media, Ghana is very noisy. In the sense that some of the issues that grab our attention seem very mundane. And he goes on and on and says, um, the discussion is not on traffic as a hindrance to productivity and a solution to resolve it. Rather, it is about, it's about how the select few can get from point A to point B without hindrance by using sirens and flashing lights. How about we mere mortals? He goes on and on and on and on. I'll urge our legislature to show more empathy and have a pulse on our country's sentiments. Power and comfort have a way of warping reality, insulating you, insulating you from the realities, and uh, goes on and on. I pray that this law will be shelved with alacrity for the good of us all. At Williams, NAD, and no Etuja. So, when it should be shoved, the nation said there is a possibility of reintroducing it someday. They'll be shoved it with alacrity. It should be discarded forever. <laughs> anyway, Adik, Chairman. what do you make of it? Maybe I know so. Maybe that's it. Um, maybe the way this is yet another reflection of how increasingly chairman the opinion for you are losing sight of your your former responsibility is to serve your constituents mm -hmm. and by extension Ghana for and service yet you are here saying looks when you are made a leader you are made a servant 
Oh, they be a umbro fact is here. I'm talking is it who serve the country, who serve our nation. Service you know yet as he is saying. Now you want to live like the sultans of Brunei in this country. You want to live like Sabi. Mudi ya muklas unku eni yeye ayakano ya klas unku and that that is not how this should be because say you see moves you see a moon statue you see sirens which means that you have no respect for well there's no mean kind respect but there's no regard for other road users. Mubana there is traffic and mudi mubi so mudi so biama kwa ni so siren dia we ya wanya we ya wanya so kwenye na siren mwanano. And that's not how you serve, you know, your people. Look elsewhere, ministers, any MPs, or Moody traffic regulations to come, come, or be a traffic chua, not true. Open so come in terms or in terms, just like everybody else does. But amendments normally are called to part right now at the parliament. I know. Now, almost say head of state, I president, mm -hmm. vice president, mm -hmm. speaker of parliament. Mm -hmm. Chief Justice, mm -hmm. Ministers of State, Justices of the Supreme Court, and Members of Parliament. And then there are Mose Irfan Kahun. Oh, can you imagine the chaos? 276 MPs. Add the ministers. Add plus the MPs. ministers who are not MPs. Deputies come. Plus Supreme so Court judges. Minister. Deputy Minister so can be. Mm -hmm. We are running into thousands of people like Killing us with noise in this country, causing chaos on our roads. Because ministers, deputy ministers, MPs, uh, Supreme Court judges, any the other uh, four gentlemen, uh, you can't imagine the chaos. And as I said, to what end? At the end, the end, but what has happened? That would occasion our amendment. At the end, they see, ah, I beg to say, wait here. Because of the AC and NT, a big here say a bear side. We won't yes see all of a sudden. Yes, see MPs and you see sirens or Montra traffic light too. Jama, what what kind of chaotic country are we trying to build? Say a sort of red crana or no bit me up, Marco. Imagine say Sabi Obi ba Obi the ass of green. According to Andy Apia Kubi or say uh, it will enhance productivity and show timely arrival of parliament at parliamentary meetings. Considering the heavy traffic, or say some MPs, ministers of state, and judges have been arrested for trying to meet their schedules. Uh, or say the exemption would only be necessary. During congested periods, it you know, I think reasons living here, Chairman. I think because MP and our minister Abu Kelis will come to I actually in tea. Since here they want to legalize Kelis Bono, that's precisely what this is about. Say, yeah, legalize it or Mukeles Bono, Chairman. If you have a parliamentary meeting, ah, you are required to be there at some point in time, Chairman. What stops you from waking up early? And because MPs, you see, the fact that MPs and ministers were arrested, no, HSS, nobody is above the law. So this is what we call constitutional chaos. Mm -hmm. You want to legalize this chaos. Say, oh, because we're MP, on not the effort to say, we traffic regulations. So, because we're here, we want to now legalize the, the kind of misbehavior they were exhibiting on the roads.